The navigation menu in iWeb consists of all of these links located at the top of each web page. This navigation menu is made in JavaScript, which is unfortunate for iWeb users trying to ensure that their website is search engine friendly, as JavaScript is not a very search engine friendly language. We can, however, work around this particular problem. The first thing we are going to do is disable the navigation menu. We must do this page by page. Highlight the first page in your website in the site organizer on the left hand side. Then click on the inspector button. Click on the web page tab and then uncheck the box that says include page and navigation menu. We must now repeat this process for every other page on our website. Here's what the process looks like one more time. Highlight the page in the site organizer, then click on the inspector button. Then click on the web page tab, and then uncheck the box that reads include page in navigation menu. Once we have successfully removed all pages from the navigation menu, we must now create our custom navigation menu. This process will not be as hard as it sounds. Let's demonstrate this by selecting the first page in our website. Next, we'll click on the text box button and our text box will appear. Now we'll type in a keyword or phrase that we want to use for our menu. Remember, you can use one of the keywords or phrases that you wrote down after your keyword research. Just make sure that whatever you choose relates to the page it takes the user to and also that it's not a word that might confuse or mislead any of your visitors. Next, we'll resize the box and we can now move this text to where our old navigation menu used to be. Our final step is to link this text. Highlight the text, click on the inspector button, and then select the link tab, which is a blue circle with an arrow inside it. Then check off enable as hyperlink and select one of my pages from the drop-down menu. Then click on the page drop-down menu and select the appropriate page that you want to link to. Now we must repeat this process for the remaining pages. Here is the process one more time. Click on the text box button and then type in your keyword or phrase. Resize the text box and move it to where your new navigation menu will be. Highlight the text and click on the inspector button and go to the link tab. Check off the enable as hyperlink button and then select to link to one of my pages. Finally, select the page that you want this particular phrase to link to. It may make your life a bit easier if you also disable the hyperlinks while you are working in iWeb. This will make your links inactive while you work in iWeb so that if you ever click on it, iWeb won't take you to that page. When you are done creating all of your new links, you can then organize the navigation menu as you please. Our next step will be to copy the links to every page on our site. Select each text link while holding down the command key. Copy what you have highlighted and then go to each page and paste the links. The end result will be a nice and organized navigation menu that search engines can finally read. If your website has too many pages and this task seems to be way too much work for you, then it is extremely important for you to submit an XML sitemap, otherwise some of your pages may not get indexed at all. We will be discussing XML sitemaps later on. So remember to disable the iWeb navigation menu, because search engines can have a difficult time viewing it. Create your own navigation menu by adding text and linking it to your page. Copy the navigation menu to the other pages on your site. 